hello and welcome again this is Vishnu Mahali and in this video I'm going to show you the process of creating a blog post uh, basically I designed my blog post with Thrive Architect and I will show that to you guys so I'm just creating a new post and this is a post that is written by one of my freelance writers I have already edited the doc file and by the way I use Grammarly as you can see over here I use Grammarly to check any grammatical errors etc if you would like to do the same the link will be available in the description I'm just copying the title over here and I'll just paste it let's save it as a draft okay now it's saved now we'll launch Thrive Architect from here and let me bring the doc file closer to this tab over here so this is how uh, Thrive Architect loads by the way and this is also share short code don't get too excited about it or curious don't get curious about it so I'll just copy paste all the text from here to here and do some basic designing and things like that most of the time I always start with a template that I have built with Thrive Architect and I have saved it over here I'll show you this is the block I'm talking about so I use this block to create the short introduction catchy sentences basically so I'll just copy these from here and paste it over here like this it's already looking good and as we are talking about donations so I'll probably look for some icon or image related to donation let's see if we have anything we don't have it here but we can always use any image or icons from any other websites we have icons for money but i don't want to use that okay we have the icon for charity over here so i'll be using it right now let's see okay so this is an icon representing charity which is obviously related to donation so i'll use this one for now and i'm looking for a color that i'll be using with it i think this will look good not so sure or probably I'll use my theme color yeah this is good as well let's use this one for now and I will probably use this sentence as well inside this box so I paste or write the most interesting part of the blog post inside this box and then we proceed to the uh, main topic or everything else now I'll paste these text under it let me show you I'll just select a text block and paste it over here and I make sure that it is formatted correctly so I'll use start your blog link over here I just select the text control K to bring the link option and then paste the link and click on insert or click enter and I'm recommending dream host over here by the way dream host is a great hosting for beginners if you would like to start a blog right now okay let me add the dream host link this is my affiliate link by the way so I'll also select the no follow option over here and then click on insert and then green gigs for green gigs I'm going to link to my tutorial because internal linking is also important I have only one article about green gigs okay how to start a blog with green gigs so I'll link this blog post over here and then I've also recommended Bluehost for those who would like to use it as it is one of the most popular hosting now I'll paste the link over here and click on no follow attribute as this will be also an affiliate link and it's fine now let's move on to the next headline over here or the first headline to be honest I'll paste it here select h2 option or a headline 2 option and then copy paste this text most of the time I use styled list for list options let me show you so these are basic list right and I don't use them most of the time but right now I'll be using it most of the time I use a styled list which is available with uh, architect I'll just select this list icon but if you have noticed I always create different blocks to paste text or anything that I'm adding to the blog post or the page 
This is because I can easily customize it later. You will understand this with experience of using this tool if you'll use it. By the way, let me show you how the style list looks like. So this is how a style list looks like. I'll change the color and this is the list item and you can also customize the icon over here and everything else that you want. So this is an amazing option if you would like to make your post a little bit fancier or better. Now I will fast forward the boring parts of the process and I will talk in between to give you an idea of what I'm doing. By the way, you can press Ctrl S to save the page or post. And I always do it in between so that I don't lose the, you know, designs and things for any reason. I don't take chances of losing it. That's why I keep pressing Ctrl S every once in a while to save what I have already done. By the way, you can also copy paste, I mean duplicate any block you want and then just drag it below and use it. You don't have to click on the plus icon and then add the block from here all the time. I'm just used to it. To make anything bold, just select the text and press Ctrl B or just hit, I mean click on this icon. Now I will use this image from WP Forms website and I will select the insert from URL option, Ctrl B and write the alternative text over here. Click insert into post or press enter and I will add some basic design to it. So I'll use the drop set option over here and I'll set the distance to 3 and the blur strength to 8. This is my go to option and I'll use the layout option like this top margin 0 and I'll use 35 in the bottom and I'll center the image so the images I most of the time use images like this especially screenshots or only screenshots not the not all the images now for the second image I don't have to do that again I will just duplicate this and then drag and drop below the text. Now I'll select this and go to main option, replace image and paste the different URL. Depending upon the article or the headlines I've used above the article over here, I always use either H4 or H5 for the conclusion or the last headline. So this is almost ready and now I'll make some minor changes if necessary or I'll just ignore them. For example, I like the step and the number underlined. It looks better. As you can see at least for my eye so i always do this you can either press this option over here by selecting the text or you can press ctrl u to do that i'll do this quickly i'll be making few more changes before publishing it but let's see how far we have gone or how it is looking already so this is how it is looking right now which is already good and i did it all within five to six minutes like I said, this looks better. So yes, this is looking pretty good as of now. And by the way, I always add a call to action at the end of the post if I have anything. I mean, an affiliate product. If I'm prom promoting any affiliate product, then I use a call to action at the end. So I'll just use one over here. So I have made one for WP Forms, as you can see. So this is a call to action that I have created for WP Forms and then I use it on all the posts related to WP Forms at the end of the post and it looks great. It saves my time because I created 
I have saved it as a Thrive symbol. So if I'll update this, it will be updated on all my blog posts and pages wherever I have used this uh, particular blog. So this is an amazing feature by WP Forms that you would definitely enjoy. And I also use uh, related articles option sometimes, which I have created using templates option over here. Let me show you. So this is the related post or resources option that I have created and I use uh, more often than not on my website i mean blog post so yeah that's pretty much it and i create or post my at least design my blog post like this let me show you once again and before i publish it okay everything looks good so this is how i create or design my blog post most of the time as you can see it is looking very good and this is the call to action thing that i was talking about and this helps me generate more affiliate, affiliate sales obviously which is a great thing. By the way, this ad over here that you are seeing in the sidebar is a sticky ad. And this is targeted ad, by the way. This is not just a random ad, it is a targeted ad. So because I'm talking about ads and I mean, hosting and form builder, etc., WordPress, that's why uh, this ad is appearing here. So I have managed to do this with the advanced ads plugin and it works uh, pretty good. Let me show you. If I'll open this blog post over here, how to connect WP Forms with MailChimp. So again, this is related to WP Forms and that's why you are seeing an ad over here, Gravity Forms, which is contradicting it to be honest, but this is the result of highly targeted ads, by the way. So that's something I wanted to share with you guys. And this is a review post. Let me show you. So this is a review post and it looks like this. So I sometimes design it a little bit differently. And this is one of the style list, which is a feature of Thrive Team Builder. I mean Thrive Architect. And this is also a style list, which looks great. And this is the, I think it's WP product review or something like that. And let me show you one more post for the design and stuff. So this is a guest post written by Ravi Dixit. And I have designed it differently. As you can see, I have added a gradient box over here and I have added table of contents over here because it, it is a very long post. And then I have created separate boxes for each product that I have listed over here. So yes, I design all my blog posts with Thrive Architect because it looks great and it is easy to do so. And by the way, I'm using Thrive Theme Builder for the theme if you didn't know. And all the links will be available in the description if you would like to check out. Let's see one more post, I guess. Let's look at WP Forms review. So this is the review post for WP Forms and I have used different design over here as you can see. So this is the, I can say the primary block of the blog post and then these our review summary as you can see this is a call to action button overall rating that i have given this particular plugin and by the way the color is matching over here because i have used dynamic color and this title is appearing over here as a theme part of the theme builder and this is where the blog post actually starts so these are two different parts actually, but I'm using dynamic background color because of that, it looks like one single block, but actually it, it is two blocks. This title is part of the theme and then the blog post over, starts over here, but the dynamic color is uh, making it look like one single block. This is also a simple review post. And again, this is the plugin doing this. WP products review, I guess. Yeah, so I just wanted to share how I create and publish my blog post on my website. And this was the demo of doing it or the process of doing it. So that was it for this video. And please subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this and many more tutorials and stuff. And don't forget to subscribe to my Hindi channel as well. I have already made 100 plus videos on that channel. And that channel has variety of videos that you would like to watch if you understand Hindi, of course. So yeah, please subscribe to both of the channels if you don't want to miss any other video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.